The movie begins with a young man waking up in what looks like a maze. He feels disoriented, but finds himself helplessly trapped between two walls with no space to move sideways. Suddenly, he starts to fall backward and is impaled by a sharp object in his stomach. Finding blood oozing out of the wound, he begins to scream as he realizes that he is stuck with no way out and no one there to help him or hear his screams. The scene then changes to the man lying down, once again stuck between two walls with no room to move. At first, he tries pushing the wall above him, but when he fails, he tries to recall how he got there, but is unable to remember anything, including his name. He then tries to crawl sideways, but reaches nowhere. He finds that the maze that he is stuck in has no exits. He begins to think that he is in a dream, because he has no memory of getting there. He then goes to touch his wound to see if it still hurts. He pokes at it and soon realizes that he is not dreaming and that he was truly stuck. A maze seems never ending. After a few hours of trying to crawl out of the space, the tired man falls asleep and wakes up to find himself stuck in a different area. This time he is stuck between two walls and he is latching onto a pipe with his mouth, with barbed wire all around him and sharp objects near his feet so that every time he moves, he manages to injure himself. He looks around to find that the pipe extends further into the room, and he will have to move if he wants to escape. His hands and feet are bloody from the barbed wire, but he continues to move forward, while still latching onto the pipe with his mouth. He moves further down the pipe, but finds there is a dead end. He then decides to move in the opposite direction. He finally reaches the end and unlatches his mouth from the pipe. Still surrounded by the barbed wire, he stays still to rest and gathers his bearings. His rest is short-lived when he begins to hear a strange noise. As it begins to reach him, he looks up and finds a small opening. Something starts to hit him repeatedly. He then finds a narrow opening behind him. He quickly moves into it, but the opening is so small that he has to bend his head to fit in it. Finding himself trapped in such a narrow space makes him panic. However, he suddenly slides down the narrow opening and falls to the ground, where he nearly gets killed by sharp objects protruding from the ground. He tries to move upwards, but can't seem to move. He turns his head and notices a few men who start to take their clothes off, and they look like they are in pain. Before he can call out to them, they are killed by an unknown creature. At the same time, a woman starts to scream as well, scaring the man, and he immediately crawls away. Once more, he finds himself stuck, and this time, knowing that there is not much that he can do, he falls asleep. When he wakes up again, he finds himself stuck, but this time, he is surrounded by mutilated bloody body parts. He then notices a woman lying among the body parts and asks her if she knows how they got into the maze, but she does not have any answers for him, as she, like him, is unable to recall anything, including her name. He then notices that the woman has a wound on her stomach similar to his. The woman tells him that she is going to crawl out of the maze, using a ditch that she insisted people use to get inside the maze. She tells him that people drowned or got mutilated by a creature. The man tells her not to do anything, because they will not be able to escape no matter what they do. She tells him not to lose hope, and the two of them fall silent. He begins to fall asleep, but the woman wakes him up. She asks if he saw someone's face flash before his eyes, but quickly realizes that they are experiencing different dreams. The two of them then begin to recall their dreams, and the man begins to tell the woman that he saw fireworks while dreaming that were going off on their own. A few minutes later, the woman begins to fall asleep, but the man wakes her up. Even though the woman had only been asleep for a few seconds, she had dreamt of being in a dark, lonely place all alone and felt that someone was after her. She senses that something is after her and that she will die if she does not leave. Feeling scared and determined, the woman decides to escape. She crawls further toward the ditch and gets into the water that is filled with body parts and has turned red due to the blood. The man hesitantly follows her as he hears the strange creature coming closer to them. The two of them drag themselves through the bloody water. When the woman suddenly stops and tells the man, she remembers that she was trying to go somewhere and that someone had trapped her to keep her from leaving. The two of them still feel confused and begin to question 
who would want to trap them inside the maze? The man then tells her that it must be someone rich who has trapped them in the maze for his enjoyment. They begin to feel disoriented, but eventually decide to dive deeper to get to the end quickly. The man loses consciousness and is swept forward by the strong current. When he wakes up, he finds that he is alone and has reached the end of the tunnel with a trap door above him. The water begins rising and the man pushes himself up to reach the door. He then pushes at the door with his head to open it and notices light outside. Knowing that he has reached the exit, he manages to get out. He finds that the woman has managed to escape as well and was lying in a room with him, covered in blood. He reaches the woman and grabs a phone to call the police to get help. The scene changes to years later. The man is now old. The woman and the man seem to be related. He then gets up, opens a door, goes outside, and looks at the sun in relief. The movie ends with the two of them holding hands and watching something together.